Hello Blue Prism folks, my name is Bharat Juneja. I welcome you to my YouTube channel and today I am gonna share my interview experience. In last few months I had attended a lot of Blue Prism interviews and for creating this video I also talked with my friends, my colleagues who all had attended interviews so in this video i am gonna share all the experience of interviews and also share the questions of the blue prism interviews this one is my favorite quote one important key to success is self-confidence and important key to self-confidence is preparation so let's start roles of blue prism first one is developer blue prism developer blue prism process controller blue prism production sport analyst so if you are going to attend the interviews of any of these roles then you can you should watch this video till end so these are some qualification and experience these are for uh, qualification and experience are common for everyone these roles and responsibilities are for only production sport analyst and these roles and responsibilities are for a blue prism developer you can pause the video and go through if you are going to attend an interview then there will be only three rounds so in some organization first round will be online assessment or online test of blue prism and next round will be technical round some organizations divide the technical round into two parts first one is L1 sec second one is L2 but in some organizations they take only one round of interview only one technical round so first round is uh, online assessment we can say it is an optional round it is uh, not mandatory in all the organization but this technical round will be mandatory and this final round or this is also mandatory so there can be at least two round and maximum four to five rounds so first round will be online and two will be technicals and then one will be HR and then personal interview or final round so at least two and maximum five in online assessment or online round online test round there will be mostly objective type questions so there isn't any book available for blue prism and there are very less courses or videos are available very few so if you want to clear these type of rounds or these type of assessments then you should do some practicals you should create some processes you should analyze the existing processes you should try to use each and every functions of the blue prism use each stage means let's spend some time on blue prism sto uh, process studio and object studio spy the applications read write the excel files send emails use all the utility object this i will suggest you can watch our videos for ob uh, online assessments we have a playlist for this i will give the link of playlist in the description box and also in i button so we have these three videos on interview question okay then next will be technical round as I already told it there can be L1 L2 rounds so for preparing technical round you should prepare your introduction in such a way that it covers your RPA journey because HR is not interested in your personal life or your hometown or your date of birth or your 
a graduation, qualification, your college. These all things are already mentioned in your CV. Because this is a technical round, so HR wants to learn or the interviewer wants to hear here your RPA experience, your RPA journey, when did you started your RPA projects, all the tools on which you work till now, all the projects you had automated till now, all the applications you worked till now. Try to create a paragraph, your RPA journey, create a short paragraph which shows insights of your RPA journey, RPA experience. You can say, I am working on Blue Prism from 2018. I had automated nine processes. I worked in production support team as well. I did automated mainframe applications, web applications like that. So you should have prepared a paragraph and cram that because first question of the technical round is also be interview will interviewer don't know you so he or she gonna ask so tell me about yourself what is your experience or what is your RPA journey tell me something about your projects so create create a paragraph and cram this and next one is the certification so certification you can uh, add some another certifications which are related to blue prism like a dot net developer if you are using code stages and you are creating objects then you can mention that I had used, I have a good knowledge of uh, C sharp. So I created a lot of objects in C sharp or in J sharp or in VB.net. And after your self introduction or your RPA journey introduction, the main and important question all the interviewer will ask is about your recent project or the most challenging project or any recent bot you have automated or any challenging bot in your rpa journey in your rpa experience the most challenging bot you have developed till now explain all the requirements means uh, what is the process why did you develop this what all are the challenges you faced so you should create all this uh, i will suggest you should write down all the description all the details of that project here are some challenges i faced like excel contains null cells or null uh, columns null rows so these are the some challenges I faced so next one is documents you should be aware of all these documents interviewer can ask what is SDD what is OID Now next concept is end to end automation life cycle. So when we create a blue prism process, we use this life cycle. So this is the life cycle. They can ask uh, any question on the basis of this or if you are following any another life cycle i mean if in your organization or in your organization if uh, they are following some another steps or procedure to develop a board you can mention that as well so now come to the some important and topic and important questions so this is our blue prism okay 
this is our blue prism if you are aware of all the features of the blue prism then you can clear any interview very easily like this is the home tab studio control analytics release digital system profile so in home tab there isn't any feature or something these are just tiles or dashboards are available and when we move to that studio then we can see process studio and object studio here so you should know what all features have all these next one is control room where we can control the processes we can run the processes we can manage the existing processes we can manage vacuums timetables schedules so if you are aware of all these features like they can ask what is scheduler Similarly, they can ask what is vacuum. questions the first one is rpa life cycle this is the most important question because you are a rpa developer and you should be aware of rpa life cycle so on this i have already posted a video you can watch that video so this one is the video of rpa life cycle you can watch this and versions and features of blue prism so interviewer is gonna ask on which version you are working and what is the latest version of blue prism in market so nowadays it's 7.01 you can tell them and also they will ask means what all are the new features in blue prism 7 so for that you can check our of oh, this video I will give the link of all this video in the description box next one is blue prism architecture so you should aware of blue prism architecture I will create a video on this next one is environment variable so if
So these are some suggestions and tips to clear the Blue Prism interview. Thanks for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any doubts.